Hey everyone, it's Liz out at Northern Bell Farms. Um, I hope you can hear me. I am trying to speak a little bit louder since my external mic, or there is no external mic on a cell phone. So, um, I'm in my booth suit. Uh, I tried to check on my hive this morning because it's something that I love to do. Um, uh, they're becoming more aggressive. I think it's just because the season, so now they're getting ready to start producing lots of food for themselves and brood, so new babies will be coming for them. Um, and I think it's just that it's that time of year. I have my gloves on. Um, I use these gloves. Um, I originally got them for hot peppers. Um, but they're supposed to be like cut resistant or whatever on here. Oh, my pinky's already swelling up. Um, but they can get through the back. Um, and it, I found it much harder. I usually don't wear gloves. I hadn't the first couple, few times. And, uh, I found it harder to pick up the um frames and control what i was doing with my fingers being fatter and not being able to feel what i was doing um but even still the back of the gloves weren't enough to keep the bees off uh, i got stung twice on my twice on my uh middle finger can you see that i can't make it focus and once on my pinky, I don't know how it's under the glove, but there's a stinger. Um, that's probably why I was swelled up. I didn't get it out. Um, oh yeah, it's big. Look at my pinky. I can feel my heart beat in it. Um, and I got stung twice on my middle finger. Um, and then they may have... I don't feel any others. My pinky feels the worst. Um, so I'm going to have to start getting out my smoker and using that, um, that way I can get over there and check everything out, um, because that's something I really do enjoy. I like going in there and looking at the comb and the brood and the hive and the honey and how many frames they made that week and are filled up and what they capped and what they left. So I've been really enjoying that. So I think I'm going to get out my smoker so I can be using that every time now. Um, see if that'll calm them down um, because I started with the less aggressive hive and uh, those guard bees were all over me so I'm assuming I don't even want to open the other hive right now um, I came on here to do a uh, unboxing of Stark Brothers I got a bunch of trees I think I still have some coming um, but the trees uh, I'm getting ready for delivery orders. Sorry, we're outside at the farm stand. Um, and I'm getting ready for delivery orders. Today we have to drop off between 11 and 2. I have peas that I just picked. And someone ordered a bouquet that I call Pretty in Pink. It's my pink and purple one. Mm, and the roses are in bloom. And these perfume roses smell better than any perfume people make. So... They keep distracting me. Um, but let me grab that box. Here is my Stark Brothers tree order. Um, I ordered a baker's dozen, I think. And I have a bucket right here that's usually under our back sink, catching the water because it's not plumbed in. Um, but I take the trees out of there and I set them in the bucket of water for at least a day, but they usually end up sitting in there for two or three because, you know, I'm a busy later. So, here is what we got. I'm not seeing a flip. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay. They put in their uh, wet newspaper or ripped up paper that they wet so it stays moist in shipping. That way you don't get dried out, especially for like this one with the buds. Let's see what this is. This is a Flaming Fury Peach. I'm super excited about this one, let me tell you. 
So, here's a Flaming Fury, Fury Peach. The foliage is red. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really good producer. And, of course, I'm hoping I got two of them now, but who knows. The packing slip nose. I got two baby gold peach, two baby gold five peach standard, two sunrise pear, and two granny smith because my daughter's a apple granny smith nut. And then we have... Hardy Giant Asian Dwarf Tree. Now, a dwarf tree, um, I think they get between, like, 8 and 15 feet. Um, and that's as tall as they grow. It's not like a 20-foot tree. Um, and you can prune them and keep them short, you know, around, like, 10, 12 feet. Um, it's easier for harvest. Of course, there's less space for fruit. Um, but if you have a smaller space to plant stuff, they're much better for that space. Um, I ordered a couple. We have two Asian pears in the back. Um, they're the ones that are supposed to taste like butterscotch. So I'm pretty sure I want to dig at least one of those up. I think I may leave the other one because it's slightly established. Um, so I may leave that one and plant one of these other ones I got. Pears can also um, cross, cross pollinate and pollinate with other pears um, for a good uh, harvest. So, um, if you get an Asian pear, you can also just get a regular pear if you don't really enjoy them that much. But we really, I like the Asian pears better than regular pears, um, because they're more like an apple. Okay, well, hang on. Bartlett Pear Standard Supreme. And, he, and my sister Pooh. I'll have to look up. Is she awake? Yeah, my sister. Okay, I'll come over back. Uh, uh, standard Pear or, or Supreme. I'm going to have to look up what that means. No, my little, no, my little, Most trees uh, need another tree <laughs> to help pollinate them. Um, you'll get a better yield, even if the mm -hmm. ones that say self pollinating. Even if you get those, another self-pollinating tree, you'll have more fruit and a better yield off that tree uh, if you get two. Um, so, and then there's different kinds of trees you can order. You can order a dwarf tree, which is anywhere from like 7 to 10 feet tall. Um, it's smaller, great for if you have really small yards. You know, you're not going to get a whole lot of fruit off that tree, but it'll be enough that you can snack on um and i mean 10 feet tall is pretty big so for dwarf that's pretty big um and then you get semi dwarf i think which is like 9 to 12 feet tall or under 15 feet i know that um at maturity uh and those are great for if you're going to have a few in a smaller space, um, you know, you live in an HOA or something and you want to have three or four trees, you can grab one of each or two, like a, you grab a couple trees and have some fruit throughout the summer and fall and spring. Um, and then uh, the standard trees usually if they're not marked or just say standard they're a standard tree you know they grow 15 20 25 feet at maturity they're big big trees um that you'll need probably equipment eventually for harvesting big ladders big baskets for harvesting you'll have an abundance of more than you can handle so that's what we try to get um, we do buy some semi-dwarf because they're still okay. I don't buy any dwarf trees, really. 
Um, here is okay for a dwarf tree because we are only on an acre and we're running out of space. We're down to our last little tiny piece of corner in the back that's unused that we're going to throw up for goat fencing. Um, but that's it. That's We are out of space. Uh, so planting trees is going to take up a huge amount of space. And I just don't have that space anymore. So um, we're going to throw uh, two or three of these trees in here somewhere. And then the rest of these are going to go to Tennessee with me because most of them are standard or semi-dwarf. So let's see what we got. Um, because I'm trying to keep their roots wet uh, so they don't dry out. Okay. Can I help? Okay, so our next tree is a Moon Glow Pear Standard Tree. Standards are just regular size trees. Oh, there's a broken one. What broken one? A broken branch. Two broken branches. It must have been on that side because they're both on that side. Um, this one what is one of the baby five, baby gold five peach standards. Um, this is like a regular peach tree. If you've ever had canned peaches or um, anything like that, this is probably the peaches that were in the kind of canned peaches or peach uh, pie mix or um, anything like that. That's what the description said on that one. So take the other Asian pear from out back and leave one Asian pear that's already. Odin wants crackers. That's already established. Can Odin have a cracker? I want a lot. Red clap pear semi dwarf. This is definitely coming with me to Tennessee. I like the red pears, and I think that's the only red pear I got. The sunrise have a blush. Um, The moon glow and the sunrise pair um, have a blush, but the red clap is obviously um, really, really red. And I really like that. So. Mommy, I want to smash the cracker on the ground. Uh, no, why do you try to put that cracker on the ground? This is a Granny Smith apple semi dwarf which of course has to go to Tennessee because it's an apple tree. Apple trees do much better up there. And it's a uh, Granny Smith, so that's all for my daughter. I have um, an apple tree here, which gave us apples for the first time the other year. I ordered it when we first moved in here about seven years ago, um, seven or eight years ago. And last year it gave us our first apples, and we got like, four or six apples and I was so excited because everybody said apples don't do well here but we got some so I have the bees hopefully which will help that this year as well as last year I ordered a bunch of plum trees and a cherry tree and um I had about half of them die uh so due to the timing that they got here uh it was in May and it was about 100 degrees when they went in and they were watered and they just struggled and struggled until they died. So hopefully these ones will go in now and go in sooner and be more established by the time that heat hits. Um, but we do have an apple tree that's called uh, cinnamon something or other. And it's supposed to taste like already spiced apples. So that one's up front um, by the corner of the garden. And then we have a plum tree here and a plum, two plum trees out back. I think I'm going to take one with me. And dig it up and then we have a cherry tree out back which isn't going to do well here so i'm going to take that with me um i got to dig those up this year because they were bought last year so they're just starting to get established and set their roots so if i'm going to do anything with them it's got to be now what are you doing odin oh i wish i had another camera that was cute cutest patootis odin pie um, where was Odin's middle name again? Treffle. Oh, Treffle. I don't see you. The other no, I mean Asian pair, and that means it's the other Granny Smith. Do you know what 
know? So, do you want to know our balcony? Let's clip some information about trees at the beginning of this video. And add some more water to that bucket. And then I gotta go feed the chickens and go do our deliveries. And next week is our bell baskets. There are CSA bell baskets. Um, we pack some up. We'll be going to a farmer's market on the 8th. Um, and I'm going to have um, bouquets. And I'm going to bring a couple bell baskets. They're $40. And then if somebody wants to subscribe to three months, they go down to $30 a piece. We also offer the deliveries um, of the bell baskets for subscription people. And then six months is the same as $200. You get the uh, $10 off each basket. So, um... Yeah, that's been going pretty well. We have a couple subscribers, so it's nice to teach people how to eat locally, eat seasonal. You know, you don't get watermelon in February. Um, it lowers their carbon footprint, even though we are driving around to drop them off. Um, it's not a giant semi-truck driving from California to drop off some fruit or an airplane bringing blueberries from Peru. So, that's that. I gotta go get ready. And don't conform people, be transformed. Bye. Have a slip. Maybe slip with that.